Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these last filters that we have available to us. So if you go to filter, you can see we have video filters and other filters. Video filters are for working with video inside of Photoshop. So if you need to de-interlace your video or you need to work with NTSC colors, you can do that with these two options here. And then we also have other filters such as uh, custom, high pass, um, HSB, HSL, maximum, minimum, and offset. So if we do say a high pass filter, you can see the effect that it gives us here. And then we have some other options, maximum, minimum, and they all do some different things. Uh, again, I, I don't need to go into all the different settings and what every single one of them do, but you can definitely go check that out on Adobe's website. But that uh, gives you the ability to go through and check out all of these different filters, whether through the filter gallery, the lens uh, filters, the camera raw filter, and all these different filters that are available to you. I suggest looking at them at least a little bit and messing around with them so you get comfortable with them and then if you need to find any more filters you can find them online by clicking browse filters online I'm not going to go to the website now but if you click on that link it'll take you out to where you can download more filters um, some people have third-party filters that they sell aside from Adobe so you can find those also and there's a great selection out there of different filters that you can use for all of your needs but hopefully that gives you a brief rundown of how all the filters work how you can use them in your project and how to find their settings and kind of get around them. And I'm hoping that gives you enough information to get out there and experiment with these filters on your own.